company. You crack the backs and I am on the road and teaching and traveling and, and doing what I'm doing. So she goes around the country and teaches these workshops sometimes <clears throat> once a week, twice a week. She comes back and hangs around and helps with some selected clients at her office and keeps more free time for herself with her newly found routine. So many times, as I said, that how you manage your stress is all related with how your Agni is burning properly also. When everything you look at, the, and why am, why am I spending so much of time in, in hammering this importance of Agni in all of you? Because when you're drinking caffeine, when you're doing a lot of uh, stimulating activities in terms of mental uh, faculty, when you're forgetting time to eat, when you're gobbling your sandwich while still working on your desk, all of these things, we talk about the rules of dietetics in here from the prevention point of view. But they're very important from the therapy point of view. Because now you can correct this, but you can't reverse this many times, isn't it? <coughs> means I would have told this lady that yeah means take this weight loss tea and keep on doing whatever you're doing it doesn't work and it may not work because it is not what I'm giving them until and unless she really addresses the core basis of the deeper states of the physiology to reverse the changes it's not going to happen so at this level the rules of dietetics are important the rules of lifestyle are important but when it sinks deeper and deeper in the tissues when you, you have a cell which is looking very weird and abnormal under the microscope, that's when you say, oh God, now one of my cell is looking weird and abnormal. One of my organ is looking abnormal and weird. I might have a swollen cancerous prostate or some lump in my breast which is cancerous. And you want to address that. But this has not happened yesterday. It is, it is a total collection of everything what is happening for the last several years. So when you look at Agni, Agni is a principle. What are the different types of subdoshas which are related with Agni? You tell me the types of subdoshas which are related with Agni. Pachak Pitta, very good. Samana. Prana, very good. Someone said Kledaka. Apana, someone said. Ranjaka, did anybody say? Mm -hmm. Pachaka, Ranjaka, Sada, Bodhaka, very good. Mm -hmm. All of them. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. Bodhaka, Kledaka, then Pachaka, Ranjaka, then Apana, Samana, Prana. Vyana also, that's correct. So this prana, apana and vyana are the three vata one, pachaka and ranjaka are the two pitta one, <clears throat> and then bodhaka, kledaka are the two kapha one. Okay? So out of 15, there are seven which are absolutely, absolutely related for I. Is that correct? Vata is four. Vata is four, yeah. Samana, Apana, Vyana and Prana, Vata has four. The only one which does not have is, which one? Udana. Udana is the only one. Okay, that you need it once you are not digesting food enough. <laughs> <laughs> That's when you throw up problem. <laughs> so, four Vata, two Pitta and two, two Kapha. So, if you look at all the different qualities of all the salivary secretions you talk about, uh, about bodhak kapha and everything like that, sublingual salivary, submandibular secretions, You're talking about pachak pitta, just to do with all the digestive juices, hydrochloric acid, oozing of all the digestive juices and everything, kledak kapha, which is also to do with uh, enzymatic activity, of trips in lipase and amylase and everything to do with the pancreatic enzyme and everything which is going on in the in the gut itself. So. Uh, all of this which is to do with almost eight different kind of uh, subdoshas of uh, uh, all the different subdoshas are related with the state of Agni. And 
In order to regulate that, in order to regulate that, there are all the recommendations which are based upon respecting your bodhaka, respecting your samana, respecting your apana, respecting uh, all the different subcategories of doshas is very important for understanding your agni. So, just to ask this question to yourself, okay? Now, forget about others. Now, you are going to ask question to yourself that what do you think about yourself? How strong is your agony? Do you think you are able to really digest the food very well? Not because you have gases, bloating or anything like that. But do you really feel if your agony is strong at a physiological level as well as at a psychological level? Where all the factors are corresponding well to make you feel energetic? Because we use this term quite a bit. Do you feel energetic? Isn't it? It is coming from Agni. It is coming from how much energy you release to burn things in order to feel lighter and clearer. Or do you feel dull, heavy and groggy? We, this is an Ama term. But it's also another way that how much extinguished your fire is so that you don't feel lighter, you don't feel clearer, you don't feel energetic as such. Okay, so you need to ask this question that what do you think is the state of your Agni? And what do you do to enliven it? And what do you do to make it even worse at times? What do you think of it? How good is your Agni? It's like pretty good. It's a little bit sometimes. Vishon sometimes. And you think you are taking good care of your Agni most of the time? By doing what? Eating most of the foods which are vibrant, filled with prana, mostly live foods? Okay, and what are the bad things that you're doing for your Agni? Um, not eating um, so at, quickly. Mm -hmm. Not eating at proper times. Okay. Um, pretty good Agni, I would say. Mm -hmm. Working on eliminating some of the bad things, like reading the newspaper while I'm eating. <laughs> okay. It's like a really bad habit. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Um, I will sometimes you, you will get even more st strong sense of anger and hunger by reading the newspaper because <laughs> <laughs> so it might not be as bad as you think probably. <laughs> Anand? It's uh, strong <coughs> but then can become visham also because of stress. Because of stress, okay. And is there any vices that you think that you do which are not good for your Agni or that is something what you do in order to maintain it better? I think on the whole I eat well, but occasionally there are indiscretions, like ice cream, for example. Not yeah. really Sometimes. Okay, but you drink hot water quite common. Yes. Okay, that's good. Um, I would say my agony is very well, so it's really strong. Mm -hmm. and, um, the biggest thing I did to improve it was to eat. I used to eat late at night, like, mm -hmm. but then I eat now my main meal, kind of during the middle of the day, and that helps. Okay. Any other vices? Um, well, I don't eat. I need to when it's it's strong. When it, when I'm regularly eating, kind of at the same times. Vices. Um, let's see. I don't know. Sometimes I eat bad. You know, I love pasta. I love bread. I love pasta. Well, one of the one of the questions as as Anand was asking that I ask this question quite commonly that when you don't eat, how good do you feel? And there are people who say, Oh God, when I don't eat, I'm so clear, so energetic, so light, and I feel as if everything is really good. After I eat, then I feel sleepy and I feel dull and groggy. I feel I'll sleep behind the wheel or something like that. It's a simple sign, isn't it? And there are people who say, uh, I immediately notice when I'm hungry and I can't think straight. I'm, I'm, I'm falling asleep because I'm hungry. Or, and that's a sign of comparing your Agni, isn't it? When your Ama is digested and when your Agni is light and clear and burning everything and you feel clear, that is mean that you are having a sluggish Agni. And when you don't have enough food and you are feeling lightheaded and dizzy and not energetic, that's a sign that you have a strong Agni. And you need the fuel to get you going. Okay, so that's one way to distinct that. Uh, stronger physically. I think I have uh, all my, I have to digest. Mm -hmm. So my agni isn't as strong. And I, my one big problem is I work. I get up at 2 in the morning. So from 10 to 2, I'm at work. You wake up at 2. I don't have that time, that crucial digesting time mm -hmm. of sleep. So it's a big problem I have to try and get over somehow. I can't quit my job yet. <laughs> 
or leave at 9.30. So mm -hmm. I'm trying to figure out how I would deal with that. Are you able to come back at 2 o'clock and sleep thereafter? Two, yeah, I would get to sleep around 2.15. To what, six, ten, eight? About seven. Seven, okay. Yeah, that's, that's definitely a violation of the laws of nature. Mm -hmm. uh, <clears throat> Raji? Um, I think I have very good strong, strong with me. Mm -hmm. I get hungry. Mm -hmm. um, appetite is good. Mm -hmm. And if I don't eat on time uh, and the right foods, um, I do get irritable. So mm -hmm. that's an indication of whether I'm, you know, not doing the right things. And, um, uh, and also I noticed that um, if I make uh, eating a priority, then um, I f after I eat, I feel satisfied, I feel grateful, I get all this good um, um, feeling of um, being well-being. Mm -hmm. um, but when, you know, things come up and the stress or when uh, there's too many things to handle, and it's not a priority, you're just rushing through, you just have this sense of uh, not feeling good. <laughs> That's very interesting. The point what she is bringing up is a vital point because Agni is also one of the 13 urges. They are called as Vega. You know that, no? Mm -hmm. And what are those Vegas? Sleep. Sleep. Cough, Ooh, urination, yeah. stool, yawn, yawn. yawn. Burping. Burping. burping, urination, urination. Yeah. defecation, yeah. sneezing, yeah. vomiting. Vega, Nadharet, Vat, Vinmutra, Kshavat, Trutkshuda. Thirst and hunger. These are natural urges. And they are both interconnected. And it's Ayurveda is probably the only science I have found that regulates the correlation of the thirst and hunger together. If you are parchy and not thirsty, your hunger would be reduced. Do you buy into this logic? That if you are thirsty and parchy and dehydrated at a cellular level, your hug, agni would be reduced. Not hunger or appetite, but your ability to convert and metabolize food would be greatly reduced. Mm -hmm. Because when you are dehydrated at the cellular level, your ability to ooze enzymes and digestive juices and everything is greatly reduced. So it, it correlates that uh, thirst and hunger is, is an important thing. So many times you need to subside your hunger by drinking water understanding and respecting your thirst and regulating the cycles of hunger. And the good thing about Vegas is, Vegas is all the 13 different types of Vegas. Vega, Nadharat, Vat, Vinmutra, Kshavat, Rutkshudham, Nidra, Kasa, Shramashwas. Shramashwas is to do with um, um, breathing after exertion. So if you're climbing a flight of stairs and you're breathing heavily, it's normal. It's, it's a Vega which you have to release. You can't suppress that. <clears throat> Sneezing is also another Vega, which you should not be suppressing that. So the good thing about the Vega is they're all governed by Vata. And Vata is, is a dog that you need to teach the tricks all the time. Okay, You need to train the dog all the time. You need to train the Vegas properly. You need to train your body to, to have the bowel movement in the morning. You have to train your body to drink water regularly. You have to train your body to, to do certain things. Because if at all you are not doing it in a cyclical, regular manner, it doesn't happen. So when you are hungry at that time and you are busy with something else, yeah, it means after half an hour when you are done with the work, you may not be able to digest your food completely because all the juices which were there, which made you hungry half an hour ago, are no more there because they ooze out and they get reabsorbed again. There's no food. So in general, you need to respect your hunger. How strongly do you feel hunger? And if you're not paying attention and you are reading newspaper, not to even understand that how much hungry you are or anything, then you will create an imbalance because you are not respecting the urge to see whether my body is relating to that sense of what my agni is doing and how it should be doing. But it's important that you need to be respecting those times